Welcome to the instructional video for installing the Safariland 6000 and 7000 series ALS holsters in a Jeep Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT vehicle using the seat sentry mounting bracket. Be sure to always confirm your firearm is clear before starting. Never modify your firearm or holster and always follow firearm and holster manufacturer's instructions for assembly and maintenance. The product includes the bracket, a rubber spacer, three clamps, and hardware to accommodate most Safari Land and Blackhawk holsters or holsters with compatible bolt patterns. For this series holster, we won't need the two barrel nuts, two of the three small Phillips screws, the large Phillips screw, or one of the silver washers, so we'll set those aside. We're using a Safari Land 7371 ALS holster for a Smith & Wesson MNP shield for this demo but the installation process is exactly the same for all 6,000 and 7,000 series holsters. Start by attaching the rubber spacer to the slot using the 1-inch number 10 bolt, a black washer, a lock washer, and a large lock nut. The purpose of this spacer is to push the bracket away from the vehicle floor, as you'll see once it's installed. Orient the spacer to align squarely to the bottom of the bracket corner and tighten with a 1 8 in Allen wrench to compress the lock washer. Next, lay the bracket over the three studs protruding from the holster so they extend through the holes in the orientation shown. Use one of the small Phillips screws through the top left hole to connect the bracket to the holster. Now let's lay out how the remaining components and hardware go together as it'll be easier to demonstrate here before we assemble it under the seat. The clamps are used to connect the holster to the bracket and the seat adjustment bar, but we won't attach them yet since they must wrap around the bar first. One clamp will attach through this hole on the right using the 5 8 inch number 10 bolt, a black washer, a lock washer, and a lock nut. The other two clamps will connect to each stud in the holster using one of two optional methods. Option 1, you can use two of the 3 8 inch screws that come with your Safariland holster to screw the clamps to the holster, which gives you a very clean look but is more difficult to install. Option 2, you can use the two headless bolts that come with the seat sentry product. Using the headless bolts is much easier to install. Both options are equally secure and effective. We'll demonstrate using the headless bolts now, and at a later step in the video show how the Safariland bolts can be used. To install the bracket using the headless bolts, open the included Loctite and apply a very small amount to the ends of the bolts. Only cover about the last a quarter inch of the threads with a very thin coating. Wipe off any excess if you accidentally applied too much. Then, place your finger inside the holster on the back of the barrel nut and screw in the bolt just until you begin to feel it graze your finger, then back it off one turn so the bolt doesn't protrude into the holster and scratch your firearm. Make sure no Loctite is on the exposed threads above the surface of the bracket. Repeat the same process for the second set screw, then let the Loctite cure for a full 24 hours. It's very important to wait the entire 24-hour cure time or the bolts can come loose during the installation process. Once the Loctite is cured, we're ready to install it on the vehicle. Start by opening and placing the first clamp on the seat adjustment bar with the hole facing down and towards the driver door. 
Open the second clamp and place it on the bar with the hole facing down and towards the rear of the vehicle. Open the third clamp and place it with the hole facing down and pointed toward the front passenger seat. Using a pair of pliers, squeeze each of the three clamps so they compress around the bar and the two holes remain close together. This makes the next step much easier. Place the bracket under the seat adjustment bar and slide each of the two set screws up through the holes and clamp number one and two. Before screwing on the nuts, it's very important to note that like most hardware installations, we're going to loosely screw on each of the three nuts, then orient the bracket and clamps in the final position before tightening them all down in unison. Start by placing a silver washer over the bolt protruding through the holes and clamp number two, followed by a small lock nut and turn the nut just until the threads begin to catch. It helps to support the holster from underneath while screwing on the nut. Repeat the same process on clamp number one. If you opted to use the two bolts that come with the Safariland holster in lieu of the provided headless bolts, this is the step where you'd screw them down through the holes and the clamps into the two studs in the holster. Then, put the remaining black washer on the 5 8 inch number 10 bolt, slide it through the holes in clamp number three, then through the hole in the bracket. Put the remaining black lock washer on the bolt, followed by the remaining larger black lock nut. Now orient the bracket such that the front edge is aligned parallel with the seat adjustment bar and the clamps are at right angles to the bar. Tighten the nuts on clamp 1 and 2 using an 11 30 second socket. And tighten the bolt on clamp number 3 using an 8 inch Allen wrench. After ensuring your firearm is clear, it's important to practice slowly going through the motions of drawing and reholstering, being careful not to flag yourself or your passengers in the process. Be sure to follow all local and federal laws regarding transportation of a firearm in a vehicle.